Second tip for words. Realise that there is a, an order to words. Some words are better to use in your writing than others. I spent a lot of years teaching child language acquisition at A-level and one of the things we always teach students is that babies' first words are usually going to be things, nouns. Dada, mama, food, whatever it is. We go around labelling the world. Book, uh, tie, pen, sky. Nouns are usually the first thing that we learn because we need to label things and ask for things. You know, a baby needs to know dinner, you know, or food or whatever it is. They need to be able to ask for these things. The next thing that we tend to learn are verbs. You know, so the things that we do, the things that we have and the things that we do make up most of our language. And you can make amazing sentences just with these two things. Eat food. Daddy run. Daddy fall. Daddy bleed. You know, all these sorts of sentences you can make with just these things. As we go on, as we learn, we learn adjectives. Where we say not just what kind of food we want, but the specific kind of food we want. Not just what toy we want, but the colour of toy. So, uh, I want red car. Yeah? Uh, the red one. Not the, not the black one, or the white one, or the yellow one. I want uh, a big drink. You know, the adjectives give extra detail. And then later down the line, we learn our adverbs. The things that describe verbs. So how are you doing the thing? So I'm running slowly, or I'm, I'm smiling um, gladly, or I'm um, running joyfully. And what I would say is that this sort of hierarchy, as well as being the order that babies and children learn words, is also the sort of hierarchy that I see in students' writing. Rather basic writing tends to only include nouns and verbs. Not many adjectives or describing words, and not many adverbs to describe actions. So what I would say is, just as a child grows up, it uses more complicated language, one of the things that you need to start to think about if you want to improve your vocabulary is your descriptive vocabulary. And that's where we come into our next task.